This is Nancy with a new video for designbundles.net and today we're going to be taking a look at Silhouette Studio's sticky note feature. So this is a relatively new feature, it uh, came out a few months ago uh, and it allows you to add notes to your designs in Silhouette Studio as you're working. So you can um, make these notes larger or smaller by dragging them. You can add multiple notes to one um, file or one design. You can click on them and, and hit delete on your keyboard to get rid of them. And um, we're going to walk through a few of the practical ways you can actually use these notes in, in Silhouette Studio. So one of the first and, and most obvious ways that you can um, use uh, Silhouette's uh, notes feature is let's say you're typing up some text um, for a design. So let's say we wanted to say we wanted to do a design with the phrase bless this mess and we wanted to use um, a calligraphy font like for example let's say we wanted to use Magnolia Sky. When you um, select a calligraphy font on Silhouette Studio I'm sure most of you know that you have to weld the letters otherwise it's going to um, cut each letter individually. So you go over to your modify panel and you hit weld. And what happens when you do this is you see up here in the menu right above the text, you can no longer see what the font is that you were using. So let's say, you know, you want to come back to this design a week later, you're not necessarily going to remember what font you used. So you can just draw a note, type up the name of the font that you used, and when you save this design with the note to your library, or if you save it as a Silhouette Studio file to your computer, that note is going to be saved alongside it. So you know that if you want to recreate it with a different phrase, or you, you know somebody wants to know what font you used, you have that m information on hand at any time. So that's one of the easiest ways you can use it. Let's say um, there's there's plenty of other ways you can use it. So let's say you have a file that you have downloaded from a website. So for example, I downloaded these mandalas from uh, Design Bundles and I'm going to go ahead and drag a design into um, Silhouette Studio to use for something that I want to create. So if I just zoom out there, now um, let's say I want to save this file to my library um, so that I can use it again later. What I can do with the sticky note feature is here I can say, okay, I got this from Design Bundles, I know it's called Mandalas, um, I can say, you know, do I have commercial use for it, add that information so I know I do have commercial use for this file. I can even go back to the website where I got it and so you can see this is where I downloaded it from on, on designbundles.net. I can just grab that URL and hit Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC, go back to Silhouette Studio into my note and hit Command V on a Mac or Control V on um, a PC and I can go ahead and just paste that link right in there. So now I have all that information that I need that's associated with this file. So let's say I want to save it to my library. I'll go File, Save As, and Save to Library. So now I have that. You can see I've actually already saved it in my Silhouette Studio before, but just for the purposes of this video, I go ahead and call it, let's call it Mandalas just for the sake of you know, distinguishing the two files. And then when I go over to my library, you can see there's the file that I just saved. So if I close this out, say I don't want to save any changes to that, go to library, I'm going to double click that um, file that I just saved, and you'll see that it's opened up with that note right there alongside the design. Now there's other ways that you can use it as well. Let's say you've created a design yourself. Let's just pretend for a minute that I created this mandala file even though I didn't. So let's say, you know, I want to put in my name, I want to put in, you know, the copyright information. If it's for personal use only, I would write personal use only. But beyond that, I could also use it as a way of like adding my social media profiles. I can add, um, you know, links to, if you have an Etsy store, add a link to your Etsy store. Basically use it as a means that if you're going to save this studio file and share it with other people, you know, you can also, in addition to letting people know how you want them to use that file, you can also add some like self-promotion, add links to your website or to your, um, to your Etsy store. And then when you go ahead and save this as a um, studio file to your hard drive, so let's say I'm just going to save this to my desktop as a Silhouette Studio file, then um, once I come to open that, so let me just close this out 
And if I go to my desktop and there's my studio file, if I double click it, it's going to again open up with that information alongside my design so that if I'm sharing that file with anyone, they have all that information front and center and they know exactly where they got that file from and how they can use it. So these are just a few of the creative ways you can use sticky notes. I'm sure there's plenty of other ideas and we'd love to hear your thoughts on, on what you're using these notes for or if you have any, you know, original or, or handy ideas for how you've managed to, to put these notes to good use, please do let us know about them in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.